they're having a real party down there. It is well bohemian meat. Curb. It's sort of like trying to control behaviour, isn't it? It means like stop misbehaving, doesn't it? Curb. It's really, really sunny and hot. I'm feeling like I'm getting glared out and sunburnt already. I like only take my sunglasses off when I'm filming, basically. So I'm on like a weird viewing platform in King's Cross. Um, St Pancras, which is what that clock tower is. This massive building site here is where they're going to be building the new Google headquarters, the lying down skyscraper. Um, only when I climbed up here though did I notice how St Paul's Cathedral and the Shard like are both aligned pointing in this direction. So like presumably like the main Google office, the ABC godlike entity man will be sitting on a throne like so behind that tree somewhere. You can only presume. I'm gonna go and get on a train. That's why I'm at a train station. But uh, it's nice to just explore. See what? You're not gonna believe this. I, I didn't believe it. I've walked past this in this hotel like a million times. I've never actually seen that you can get into the railway station here. Maybe they've just opened it up. But I mean, oh my God. Let's just have the experience I had. Imagine I'm just like, oh, what's this? This looks nice. I've started filming here, by the way, because it's likely I'm going to get kicked out. Stop hoping that I'm going to get kicked out. I know what you want. Holy crap. I mean, you're like, holy shit, yeah. It's quite an impressively big railway station, St Pancras. And then you're like, oh, oh, I see. And like, is it universal synchronicity? I don't know that um, this is Paul Day, the guy who gets chosen for everything. This is a video about people who just get automatically chosen for everything. Oh my God. Look at that lady, she's like on the phone. Oh, what is that? It's like a Nokia 3310 or something. Oh my God. And uh, yeah, God, this is weird. Like people on a train, look at that. It's actually really good, but terrifying at the same time. Oh, look, Paul Day. Weird and insane. Weird and insane. I'm not absolutely sure, but I think that's Google DeepMind. Is that what that symbol is? And they have like pi and whatever the hell that is. And then, I don't know, it's some kind of like secret message or something. There's the viewing platform up there I was on earlier on. Just look at the, um, the plant pots and how abnormally cartoon-like they are. Obviously they're extra large, which makes a normal adult human feel more childlike, more like a toddler, small person. There's a big arrow over there like pointing towards an art gallery and that's also like massive. It's not weird though that you've got do go I mean I've said it before but the fact that the Google now are doing this massive new headquarters here just solidifies the fact that I mean god you know you really believe that Britain doesn't have some kind of role in the world because of Brexit it's almost like Britain is now taking a license to build the Orwellian nightmare and this, this is where it is but it's it's not a nightmare it's a super bourgeois sky-striped wonderland of uh, uh, hyper-reality, I guess it's called, hyper-reality. And um, the Google headquarters, which is going to be a, a land scraper, apparently, like a skyscraper, but lying down. You'll never guess who got the contract to design it. It was uh, Thomas Heatherwick. And Thomas Heatherwick was the guy who illegally got chosen for the Garden Bridge and uh, did the Olympic Cauldron and did the double-decker buses that don't work very well, the hybrid route masters. The guy who gets chosen for all of the government contracts is getting chosen, or has been chosen, to create this new wondrous land scraper, which will be the mothership of data analytics. 
so yeah, I'm going to get on a train now and go to a mountain.